The College of Science and Mathematics at California State University, Fresno, is focused on providing a quality education to graduates. One of the most important tools in this effort is developing students' opportunities for undergraduate research. The College of Science and Mathematics is a research-intensive college. Over the last five to six years, we've hired 45 new faculty. Every one of these faculty hires has a contractual obligation to establish a productive research laboratory involving our students. The faculty firmly believe that research and education go hand in hand. It's the only way we can fire up our students to, to make them active learners. We could spoon feed them information and they could come out at the other end with a lot of knowledge, but they've never really been turned on to what science means. And this is our way of, of making sure that our students are innovative thinkers and are ready for the challenges of this technology-rich workforce. In this highly competitive era of science and technology advancement, undergraduate research offers benefits that extend far beyond the accomplishments in the lab. As the advisor of the chemistry club, I often tell the students they need to get involved in research. And there's a lot of different benefits for doing that. First of all, you get one-on-one -on -one interaction with a faculty member. That means they get to evaluate your skills and your lab skills, your communication skills, and that's very important when you need a letter of recommendation to go to another graduate program or professional school or even to get a job. The second thing is you're building networks and interacting with other students in the lab, and so that helps. But also, um, the sense of confidence building that you get because you're doing something new and unique and you're having to figure it out on your own, but also it reinforces all the concepts that you learn in class in an applied manner. And I think that's what really makes a difference for most students to help reinvigorate them, to make them really, um, help them understand how much they really enjoy science and love it. Working here in the laboratory has really solidified the information presented to me in the classroom setting. Before working in the lab, um, in my studies, I would have to read the book from front to back. And I really couldn't visualize what I was learning because I'm a visual learner, as I'm sure many other students are. So once I started working in the lab, um, I saw that my grades were really being affected. Um, for example, Biology 1B is a class that takes a lot of time and a lot of studying time. And I was just doing so great because I knew all the techniques, I knew all the concepts because I'd actually done them here in the lab. I'd worked with cells, I'd seen cells in the microscope. I had uh, transformed cells to make them transgenic. So concepts that were once so, I could say, complex to me, became very simple in my mind. My research has been in inorganic chemistry, and that started well before I had to take the upper division chemistry classes. And when I got into those, they started talking about techniques and instrumentation and various tools that were used by chemists in research, and it was all about the theory. And I think that having used those before in undergraduate research, that it made it that much easier to understand and to be able to talk about them. And I really noticed a difference when I was in the classes learning about them that it was that much easier. I have a, a few of the students, first they learn some from the um, classes. Indeed, they are a little bit under performance. And after they join the lab, they start seeing how the real physics can apply in the real world. They got really motivated and got really interested. So they, that overall improved their academic work. Students involved in undergraduate research are also exposed to and integral participants in a diverse set of cutting edge research projects and activities. The research problems that we are interested in here in my laboratory are twofold. One is to try to address the problem of plant parasitic nematodes, which is a very, very serious problem in the Central Valley, but also across the world. What we're trying to do here is try to develop tools to solve this particular problem. Likewise, another problem that we're trying to solve is problems associated with water, water quality, also wastewater. As you all know, water is an essential element for life. We're trying to use algae to produce biofuels and at the same time clean up wastewater. 
The research that I do in my lab relates to bio and organic chemistry. We're really interested in understanding how metals in the body react with certain proteins and amino acids, in particular uh, cysteine. And um, cysteine is a common additive in vitamins. It's often given by doctors to treat oxidative damage and things like that. Um, so we really want to understand how certain um, how certain metals bind certain amino acids and proteins in the body, and what can happen when you introduce the wrong metal, something that may be toxic. It is a lot of work. You have to be committed, but taking that extra step and joining and being a part of something bigger really sets you apart from the thousands of other students that come here at Fresno State. And if you are pursuing a graduate career, if you're pursuing a career in medicine or in dentistry or any career in the health sciences, you are going to stand out from everyone else because you have shown your character, you have shown your commitment and your dedication. I would tell any student that is interested or have the interest of research to pursue it. Don't ever be afraid of not having the knowledge base or not knowing how to do something. That's what the laboratory is for. That's where you come to learn. You learn your concepts in the classroom, but you apply them in the lab. And that's where it's important for you to get that hands-on experience. Students who are, who are heading off to be career scientists by doing the undergraduate degree in science, and then a higher degree, either at the master's level or the PhD level, really have to try out undergraduate research. An undergraduate research experience is also vital for turning those students on to careers in science. They, they can see the value of the kinds of research that is needed out there because we have scientists in the labs doing cutting edge research and those students are learning skill sets that they could never learn in the classroom and we hope that they are going to become the future leaders in the scientific areas that we urgently need.